Okay. Next, we're going to check out the Arrange view mouse modifiers in Reaper. Let's open the mouse modifiers and we'll scroll down to Arrange View. As our context, this is one of the most important contexts when using mouse modifiers, and you'll see why. And over here, we have three options, which are very different than the other options so far. They're right drag, middle click, and middle drag. Now, not every mouse has a middle button for middle clicking or middle drag, but if you have one, definitely take advantage of it. It just gives us more options for how Reaper reacts to our input. Let's start off with right drag. By default, we can marquee select items. So if we right click, right over here, changes our tool to this arrow, and we can marquee select things. Surround these two, and they get selected. Surround this one, and it gets selected. And so on. But again, we can change that. We can marquee ignoring snap while setting a time selection, which is the default behavior, while holding down option on the Mac or Alt on the PC. So now if we right click and drag, it selects the item, but also creates a time selection, which is great for doing something like this. Select part of an item and cut it, and it just cuts based on the time selection. Let's do the same thing over here. Select both items, now cut, and it cuts out the middle. Now you should also notice that when using this modifier, it doesn't matter if we're outside the item or inside the item. It's still gonna behave the same way when we right click. So if we right click over here, it still works. Or if we right click inside the item, like this. Both ways work for this context. And we could toggle selection or add to selection. If we toggle, if something's already selected, like this, we can do the same over here and it adds to the selection. But if we do it again, it toggles it. So it turns it off when we select it twice. So if we select these two, let's unselect this one, and now do it again with these three, it reverses it because they're being toggled. And we could add to selection right here, which is the default action while holding down shift. We could select time to create a time selection, right click and drag it, it creates a time selection. We could select time ignoring snap or hand scroll and horizontal zoom. If we choose hand scroll, and we right click, it turns to a hand. So we could scroll around, which is the same thing as the default up here. But we get the option of doing it down here or here. But we could also add to it. We could add horizontal zoom and right clicking scrolls it, or if we go up and down, it zooms. And we could also move the edit cursor. So now if we right click, it moves the edit cursor there or here, but it also scrolls or zooms all in one action. We can scroll browser style like this. A little too fast. There we go. It's a little better. That's scrolling browser style. We can marquee zoom, which is the default behavior while holding down this modifier. We could right click over here, and instead of selecting, it's going to zoom. We can get even closer and closer. We could scrub audio by right clicking and dragging.
or we can jog audio. We can scrub audio based on looped segment mode or jog audio based on looped segment mode. Now let's jump to middle click. There's only a few options here. By default, it's going to move the edit cursor, ignoring snap, which isn't really a big deal. But we could also restore previous zoom scroll, which is pretty useful if right click is set to marquee zoom. So we could zoom in like this, and then use that middle click to zoom out to the previous level with each click. Click it again, and it's back out. And we could also use our action list. So each one of these modifiers could have a different action just for middle click. And then finally, we have middle drag. So if we drag by holding down the middle button, it's going to perform these functions. Now, if you notice, they're pretty similar to the ones with right click hand scrolling, scrolling browser style, marquee zooming, scrub audio, and jog audio. But obviously, we could set these differently from right drag, so we have more options available to us. So that's the arrange view mouse modifiers. Now, there's something else I should show you, as this is the last context we're going to go over for mouse modifiers. And that's if we go to the action menu, and if we use the filter and type in mouse modifier, we'll see that all the mouse modifiers have an action. Let's make this bigger. Now, using these actions, we could change the defaults for range view middle click, edit cursor handle. Every mouse modifier can be changed right from here. So we could use keyboard shortcuts to change any of our defaults. But what we could also do with this is put them in our toolbars. So we can create tools in our toolbar, and just by clicking each one of them, we could change the mouse modifiers or how the mouse performs at any time. So we can create one for copying, for moving, and by clicking them up here, we could change the behavior of our mouse. So if you prefer to use tools as opposed to the way Reaper works, you could set it up all over here and change our mouse modifier defaults using our toolbar. But anyway, that's the mouse modifiers in Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.